Welcome to the Capitalized Life YouTube channel. I'm Matthew Johnson, president and owner of Johnson Wealth and Income Management. I do hope you enjoy today's video. Thanks for clicking on today's video. You know, every video that we produce, we try very diligently to make certain that it brings some light to your life, maybe a little bit of challenge, maybe it brings a little bit of humor, makes you smile. All of those things are good things. But the title to today's video is Growing or Dying You Decide. I was reflecting the other day on my habits and the rituals that I have in the morning. And then for whatever reason, I was just kind of filtering through in my mind, thinking about all the different clients that I have. And you know, one of the more profound things in my life is the fact that I deal with a lot of people towards the end of their life. And there's two different types of retirees. There's actually two different types of workers. There's actually two different types of children. Those that continue to grow and those that are slowly dying. I believe it was Benjamin Franklin that observed that most people die at the age of 28. The problem is, is that they're just never buried until they're 75. Our minds, our hearts, our souls need to be nourished. And too many times we get wrapped up in just dealing with the day, just working and doing and laboring. And it's the same thing over and over and over again. I don't want to be stagnant. I don't want to be just leveling off and going through life with this monotony. And so every single day, I take the time to be able to challenge myself in some way, shape, or form. Now, I do this through two venues. I do it through reading. And I'm not saying flipping through Facebook. Can that be beneficial? I suppose. It's not flipping through YouTube. Could that be beneficial? Definitely. But reading. You can either spend 10 years of your life living to experience something or potentially spend 10 hours reading a book that is 10 years worth of life experiences rolled into one book. A condenser, uh, a condensed, faster way to learn. The other thing is auditory, audible listening. Every single day I have audible books and I put it in my ear and I listen. Maybe I only get 10, 15 minutes per day. Maybe it's bright and early in the morning. My, my routine is that I'm going to get up, I'm going to hydrate, I'm going to do my yoga, I'm going to do my meditation, and then I'm going to spend 10, 15 minutes listening to a book that I want to be challenged by. This month I'm reading about a gentleman by the name of Wim Hof. Wim Hof is an exceptional gentleman. He holds five Guinness Book of World Records, and they call him the Iceman because he has taught himself how to basically be surrounded by extreme temperatures, negative 30 degrees Celsius, which is, whoo, that's extremely cold, and yet living, running a marathon or running for a great distance in the middle of the cold. Why am I reading it? Because I want to be growing. And here's the hard part of life. If you're not actually intentionally growing, then what's happening is your body is atrophying. Your muscles are atrophying. Your brain is atrophying. So if I can, I want to challenge you. When it comes to your mind, when it comes to your soul, when it comes to your body, Every single day, be intentional to grow, to somehow challenge yourself, to bring things into your life that are new and different. If nothing else, it gives you things to talk about when you're with your friends. It's also the reason that I teach classes on financial topics. It's kind of interesting. I have thousands of clients, and yet there is only a handful of clients that seem to just crave information. And they're constantly coming into the workshops. Even though they've maybe been there two, three times, they come back to those workshops because every time they come, 
they tell me they get something new. I encourage you, take the time to learn about finance. Take the time to challenge yourself about investing for retirement and income and open your mind to new ideas. Maybe you have a good general sense of how investing works and how to make money. But continue to build that momentum, continue to build upon that knowledge, adding even more to it. Will you become a financial advisor? Probably not, but that's not the point. The point is to continually challenge this thing here and this thing here. So hopefully today, you walk away with the challenge and the intention that you're going to continue to focus on growing despite your age. Thanks for watching, and remember, it's up to you to make it a great day.